so good for you and so worth it. Oh, end of the line. Hey everyone, Miner Biker here. So I am in the middle of the faulty trail in the Paw Vent Trail System, right at the top of the Juniper Drop downhill trail. Got a spectacular November sunset going on over here. Got both of the dogs and what we're gonna do this evening is we're gonna bomb down the juniper drop trail which i have videoed before but there's been some work done on it this year since the last time i videoed it fixed up some of the berms and stuff better so we're gonna hit that and then we're gonna dive into the new telegraph trail which is another new downhill trail built this year there's telegraph and spinal tap that were added this year is downhill only and uh, spinal taps the big one that was the last video and this is telegraph which is a lot shorter. It's only about half the length of Spinal Tap, but it is a super fun trail. Black Diamond downhill trail, got fun features, and it's gonna be a good time. So it's pretty late in the day. It might start getting a little dark. We might have to turn on the headlamp to finish her out, but we're gonna have fun. Let's hit Telegraph. We go down into Juniper Drop. Park's pretty still, still pretty much the same, but when they built that berm, changed this corner up a lot better than it used to be. Change this stretch right here up too. Drops always a good one. Hit short, but pretty furious. <laughs> goes to the left. This here is the new telegraph trail. Starts off with just a little gradual climb up and around onto this little ridge and we start to descend. This right here is something any trail that has sandy section should do. Armor it with flat rocks. All right, ready to descend. Bonus line up for that rock. Kilter on that drop. <laughs> Might be a little tricky. Trying 
trails like it's final tap still got some moisture on it a couple weeks ago but it is still pretty loose West Mountain Road. Ah, I didn't quite get stopped. But, yeah, watch for traffic. A lot of truck and four the traffic on that road. Don't want anybody getting run over. There's an alternate drop right there to the left. I'll throw in right about now a clip of me hitting that alternate drop on a different day. Okay, I'll lose berm. My hands are getting cold. It's chilly. <laughs> I like to get all downhill on the windshield. Nice chunky stretch down there. right here telegraph actually keeps going straight down and ends at the bottom of west mountain road so it just goes down here and there's like one switchback and then a big drop 
a big optional drop at the end with a right around it is a big big drop it's actually probably the biggest feature on the whole trail system i found uh, that it's a little too big for me at the moment because yeah i tried it and this happened for that helmet so yeah that drop uh we'll try that another time maybe <laughs> but yeah that uh, ended with a mild concussion some really big bruises a cracked helmet yeah it was uh, interesting but anyways we're actually not going to finish out that because i'm parked over at the other trailhead and so i'm actually going to turn here to the left this is the very south end of the tank run trail This is the start of the tank run trail, which you saw in the spinal tap video as well. So this connects from over here at West Mountain Road from the water tank, the bottom of the telegraph, and the bottom of the spinal tap. Connects them over to the other, kind of the original part of the trail system over with killing it and it's all over that way just come down that little bit off the telegraph and then come right down here and then right here on the left is the same spot that we saw in the spinal tap video and then we take this up and traverse it across the above town starting with this Tough little steep techie climb up this first little bit. It's pretty across the valley there with little snow showers coming down on Glenwood Mountain. All the lights coming on in town. It's pretty. Where's that big drop on telegraph goes? A couple things happen, I think. One, the landing is still really fresh and loose until I hit hitting those heavy. The front wheel had basically no chance of rolling out. So it just kind of dug in and stuck. Then the big the main thing was and I just got my head and I just tensed up and just kind of dead sailored off of it. So instead, my speed and everything was right. My line was good. I just stiffened up and went and just rode off of it without moving, without staying loose, without moving my body weight. So instead of shifting my body weight back as my front wheel went off, I basically just stayed right in the middle of the bike. This froze up. And so then that led to the front wheel starting to drop too quick. Front wheel is already heading down by the time the back wheel made it off the edge. And then it was about a, it's probably a good, probably 12 feet or so vertical. It dropped straight onto the front end. I believe the bike is fine. Tweaked the handlebars and the brake lever a little bit. That was it. It's pretty, pretty incredible considering how hard the front of this bike hit with all my body weight behind it. Made it to the end of tank run here and killing it. I'm actually gonna go up killing it just a little bit and catch the 
bottom half of Carnage. It's always fun to bomb in the dark. Haven't seen anybody else out this evening. Not sure why, it's only pretty cold. Kind of may start snowing about any minute. But hey, trails are running good. Downhill's a little chilly. Uphill, the temperature's perfect. I've got to do with these long, long evenings now the time has changed. Best use for a long evening after the time changes. Good night ride. <laughs> Alright, who made it? Part way up killing it. To the middle of carnage. Had started to snow a little bit. Time to send the bottom of carnage in the dark. We'll wrap it up for today. Okay. Water drops on the lens from the snowflake. <laughs> Woohoo! Yeah, boy. Got a little adventure out here in the snow. No, it's snowing very much. It is snowing. I hope the land stays clean. Here's what it is. Keep up speed into the <laughs> headwind.
Now it's getting cold. Getting pelted in the face with snowflakes. <laughs> oh, it's chilly. Wait for the doggies. Well, everyone, that turned into a pretty good little adventure. And it was, it was going to be good anyways, hitting Juniper Drop and then Telegraph, but having it turn into a night ride, then how it starts snowing, that was fun. Anyways, hope you enjoyed that. Telegraph Trail is awesome. It's not quite as big. Doesn't have quite as much stuff on it as Spinal Tap does. Spinal Tap is still my favorite trail here. And... I think one of the best downhill trails in the state of Utah, but Telegraph is definitely short but very sweet. It's not very long, but it has got some fun stuff to it. Anyways, thanks everybody for watching. Check out the Spinal Tap video if you haven't already. Check out other videos from the Polyvent Trail and other stuff on the channel. If you subscribed, thank you so much. If you haven't, I invite you to do so if you like. And keep digging up new places to ride.